you know, the world is struggling with big problems. We have challenges with biodiversity, climate change, health, hygiene, all these big problems. When you start looking at the root of it, actually have microscopic origins. Microscopic things build everything. Foldscope to me is a lens literally into that world. It is built out of origami, so it's a flat sheet of paper you fold together and you have a fully functional microscope in a couple of minutes. It weighs less than 10 grams and in the end you get an instrument that can give you 700 nanometer resolution imaging at a price point of roughly a dollar. ecosystems are not just based on large species. So when I walk in the forest, I'm not just looking at the big trees, but I'm also looking at the fungus and the insects crawling around. There are insects with wings and fully functional machinery that are even smaller than a dot that you write on a piece of paper. One time I was waiting for my train actually to come and this very, very, very tiny bug landed on the rim of my coffee mug. I trapped it in one of my slides and I was absolutely shocked when this insect actually started laying eggs right inside the slide. The resources that were dedicated in that insect just for production for progeny is really everything. That teaches you something a little about why life is so resilient. It's just such an immense opportunity to come to this world and not know. It's not just for scientists to figure out how the world works. That is truly actually a passionate thing that we all start with. We all start by being curious about the world. We are born with this and we really need to culture this because fundamentally, curiosity needs to be nurtured and kept alive forever.